Oh, ang dami kong kasama ngayon dito kung alam nila. Oo, oh, oh, at kung gusto nyo ba ng additional 1,000 diamonds each, aba, ishare nyo na ang ating live with hashtag QMK with Ian. Let's reach 20,000 views para naman ma-unlock natin ang ating bonus round. Siyempre, bukod sa diamonds, magpapamigay rin tayo ng tumataging team na shout-out at fun sign sa lucky sharers natin tonight. And speaking of shout-out, shout-out to Kumus Vice President for Production, ang ina ng social TV, Miss Eli Tabilog. Happy, happy birthday! We love you, Miss Eli. At bilang pa-birthday gift natin kay Miss Eli, i-share natin itong ating live with the hashtag QMK with Ian at hashtag Happy Birthday, Miss Eli. So, quizmates natin dyan who have just joined in. I am your quiz master, Ian Rances. And welcome to Kumu's original and first trivia game show ang Quiz Moco. Prior to the show nga pala, nagbigay na kami ng bonus sa ating early birds. Kaya para makuha rin kayo ng bonus answer, makakuha at hints, set your alarms at 8.55pm at pasok na agad dito sa ating stream. I-follow nyo na rin ang Instagram account ng Kumu at Kumu PH dahil dyan namin ibinabagsak ang ating question clues. At eto pa ang isang mag ng bonus facts para sa inyo. Tawagin na natin ang ating fuck girl of the week, Eva May Napico. Yay! Grabe. Paano yung pa ganun? Paano yung pa ganun? Yan! Si Marilyn naman yan. Welcome back, Marilyn. Para sa mga kakapasok lang ng stream, ano nga ulit ang team natin for tonight? Quizmates, our theme for tonight's game is all about popular bands. Popular bands. At ilang diamonds nga ang pwede nilang mapanalunan? You will get a chance to win up to 500,000 diamonds! 500,000 diamonds! Yes. Oh, music to my ears! Kaya naman, <laughs> quizmates, talasa ng pandinig. Dahil ito na ang ating mechanics. Take it away, Milin. Read the question that will appear on your screen. Choose the correct answer within 10 seconds by pressing the screen. Win by answering all 10 questions correctly. If no one wins, the prize money will be added to the next episode. Iyon! Good luck, quizmates! It's time to test your wits, bilis ng pag-iisip, at chamba skills. Ito na ang panatang makabanda. Question number one. I like it. Yes. Which band popularized the songs Isap Mata and 214? Pasig River. <laughs> River Maya. Maya Maya. Grabe Maya, yung Maya, Pasig lakas River. Ng, lakas ng Maya Maya is that. Ingat po kayo lahat dyan sa lahat ng nasa Pasig. Okay. Ito na. Alam mo yan? Oo oh, kay bilis namang maglahon na. Pag-ibig mo, Sinta. Daig mo pa ang isang kisap ma. Yan! Ganyan! 214. The world could die and everything may lean. Oh! Ang galing doon ah! Sigo ya! Squeeze face! Don't forget to like Kumo's social media accounts to keep you updated. Abakan nyo rin ang mga ibinabagsak namin question clues sa Instagram ng Kumo. At hanapin lang at i-follow ang at KumoPH. The correct answer is... River Maya! Hindi ako nakasagot! Ito na pindot! Ayan! Out ka na! Out na! Out! Extra life! Paano extra life? Sayang! 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 Zero eh! Mag-share ka na share. Friday, Friday mag-share-share. Sige, wag na tayo magtrabaho. <laughs> Sa mga hindi matahimik dyan kung bakit ba 2 and 4 ang title ng popular song ng River Maya, may sagot na si Maylin dyan para sa inyo. Yes! Si Rico Blanco ang sumulat ng 214 ng River Maya and he revealed na ang original title dapat ng 214 ay The Proposal. May moving ganyan. Kaya lang he found it really cheesy. Kaya nag-iisip pa siya ng iba at isa sa nagiging option niya yung first lyrics ng song na Am I Real? Am Pero I <laughs> hindi pa rin siya satisfied. Hindi pa rin siya satisfied. One of his bandmates, Nathan, listed a few title studies and included 2 slash 14. 
which is day which is the date of Valentine's Day. So, 214 at Am I Real ang naging working title nila dahil sa na print na yung album, hindi pa rin sila naka ng better title. Better title. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Pero nag-end sila sa 214. Okay, panatong makabanda question number 2. Chito Miranda is a member of which local band? Paroke ni Edgar, paroke ni Chito, Chiquito, Nak. Masarap yung Chiquito. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my, my point, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maylin, anong alam mong kanta ng banda ni Chito? Yung, andito na si Chito. Kasama Chito. si Chiquito. Ganun. <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, bago pa tayo magbagsakan dito, i-reach out na natin ang 20,000 views. To unlock yes, our yeah. bonus round. Additional 1,000 diamonds each din yan, mga Quizmates. Yes! Share lang ng share! I-follow nyo na rin ang Quizmoko dito sa Kumu so you wouldn't Kumu. miss all our special announcement and other fun activities! And the correct answer is... Parokya ni Edgar! Yan! Yeah. Pero Mimim, bakit nga ba parokya ni Edgar? Eh, wala namang Edgar sa banda nila. Eh, baka friend niya si Edgar. Sige, oo, okay na yun. According to Chito, galing yan sa kaklase niya noong high school. Ganun pala yun. Why are you discussing knowledge of the tangere? Tinanong ng teacher nila yung kaklase ni Chito kung saan nag-aaral si Cripsos Tomo Ibarra. At ang sagot ng kaklase niya, parokya ni Edgar. O diba, sabi ko, friend niya niya. Ang sweet mo, Maylin. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Panatang mga kabanda, question number three. Who is the lead vocalist of Queen? Freddie Mercury, Freddie Mars, Freddie Aguilar. Uy! Lakas ng Freddie Mars. Napanood nyo ba yung movie na yan? May movie yan. Oo, napakaganda ng movie na yan. Okay, next week, makakasama rin natin sa QMK as Fuck the Boys and Fuck the Girls, si na Anthony Corpus and the week after that, si Algelette Mika Pardo naman ang makikipag kulitan at pindutan sa atin. And si Bea Yanni Claire Gascon ay makakasama na rin natin dito sa QMK. Kaya, Quizmates, if you also want to win exciting prizes and opportunities like this, go to Kumu Campaigns tab at dyan nyo makikita ang iba't ibang campaigns na pwede nyong salian. Tama ka dyan, Maylin, pero tama kaya sila dito? The correct answer is... Freddie Mercury! Na kasi siguro tayo ay gamot ay laging bago. <laughs> Ah, buti ka ba yun? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wala kayong bayad doon. Oo, wala, wala. Hindi maganda yun. Hindi nakakatuwa yun. Di ba laging may mic stick si Freddie Mercury kapag nag-perform siya? Paano ba siya nagkaroon ng iconic mic na yun? It was all by accident. Sa isa nilang concert, napalakas yung paghatak ni Freddie ng microphone stand. Kaya it broke and na-dislodge siya from its base. As a performer, syempre, the show must go on. So, Freddie decided to keep holding onto it while singing until it became one of his on-stage signatures. O, oh, di ba? Actually, yun naman ang maganda. Yung mga, mga moves na galawan ano yung signature? Ano yung signature na hindi mo inaasahan. Ano yung signature ni Ian? Ano? Yeah. <laughs> And then, yun yung maganda, yung 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 uh, natural na discover yung mga signature ano, hindi yes, yung hindi yes. scripted, hindi inaral o yes, so, hindi pinagpraktisan yeah. o di ba? At ito quizmates, recently lang Queen who have revealed a previously unheard song they recorded with Freddie Mercury in 1988. Ang title niyan I Face It Alone. May ganun pa pala. Okay, panatang makabanda question number 4. How many members are there in Ben and Ben? Uy, alam ko yan. 2, 9, 30, 2. Nako! Quizmates, kung wala na kayong extra life, katulad ko, pwede kayong makakuha niyan every Friday with Carly Hernandez sa TNT Sports Edition. Yes, all you have to do is to share the game. Kaya, Quizmates, make sure na present kayo sa Friday! Kayo! Kayo! And the correct answer to Mama Kaya Silo... The correct answer is... Ay! Nine! Nine! Nine sila! Bago sila maging nine-piece band, Ben and Ben was composed of two members, the twins, Paolo and Miguel Guico. 
At ang pangalan nila ay The Benjamins. The Benjamins. Katulad ng songs nila, maraming layers ang kanta nila at ibang ibang instruments ang gamit nila. Uh-oh. So, when they were recording their EP, nagpatanong sila, paano natin gagawin tuwang live? Abo, mali ko sa inyo. So, they asked their seven other friends and fellow musicians to perform with them in their EP launch. As the months went by, naging clingy sila sa isa't isa and it got to the point na sinabi nila, Eddie, maging banda na lang tayo and the, the rest, rest is history. history. Ganun pala yun. Ganun talaga yun, Maylin. <laughs> diba? Sabi ko sa'yo, marami kang nalalaman dito sa QMK. Ito pa, dagdagan pa natin yan. Panatang makabanda, question number five. Which band is known for the hit songs Dream On and Sweet Emotion? Aerosmith, ACDC, Metallica. And there's our question clue for tonight's episode. Sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, nagsimula na mag-post si Carlito ng mga QMK questions sa official Instagram page ng Kumu. At yung question na makikita nyo ay lalabas in one of our actual episodes. So, you know the drill, quizmates, follow Kumu on IG para meron kayong isang sure na sagot. Yes! Nako, sana ay walang nahulog. The correct answer is... Aerosmith! Bago pa man maging Aerosmith ang Aerosmith, some names that had been brought for the band were The Bananas, Tit Jane, Spike Jones at Aerosmith. Diba? Ang dami. Ang dami ng... Uh, parang yung kanina lang din sa song ng River Maya. Kung baga, bago ka talaga mag-come up sa isang napakagandang uh, title, ang dami mo po nang maigis. Daming thoughts. Yes. Quizmates, eto na ang ating fix or it didn't happen question of the day. Ibig sabihin, ang susunod nating tanong ay base dito sa ipapakita naming picture. Ready na ba kayo? Talasan na yung mga mata. And three, two, one. Photo reveal na na. Talasan ang Uy, mga ano yan? May extra muso. May Okay. Panata makabanda question number six. Which American rock band owns the smiley face logo? Nirvana, Sugar Free, Cliche. Quizmates, sana nakasmile din kayo habang naglalaro ng quiz mo ko. Ikaw lang talaga ang nagpapangiti sa amin, Ian. Oh. Every Monday to Thursday. Kasi nakikita at napapanood ka namin dito sa quiz mo ko. Hmm? Mili naman, kakasal ko. <laughs> And the correct answer is... Nirvana! Nirvana! Isa sa most iconic songs ng Nirvana ay Smells Like Teen Spirit, di ba? Habang pinagtatawanan ako dito ng aking kumupang. Pero alam Pero nyo ba? Pero bakit sila natatawa? Ewan ko sa kanila, tatawanan. Mili naman nawi ako. Pero alam nyo ba kung saan galing ang title ng katang yan? Nako, Mylene, take it away. Smells Like Teen Spirit was named after a deodorant. Lo, kaya pala, mabango. In 1993, mabango. Nirvana brand Kurt Cobain has had a girlfriend named Toby Vale. She was in the punk band Bikini Kill with a woman named Kathleen Hanna. One day, habang nagiginuman sila sa bahay ni Kurt, Kathleen spray painted the words, Kurt Smells Like Teen Spirit. Parang sinasabi ni Kathleen na Toby had marked Kurt with her deodorant scent. Kurt Cobain found the word smells like teen spirit inspiring. But didn't find out what they meant until months after the song release. Ganun pala yun. Smells like no Nako, eto na. Get ready for our killer question of the night. Smells like doggy tayo. Smells like doggy. Smells like doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa mga bata, question number 7, what is the 11th studio album of the Beatles? Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, Let It Be. Let it be. Let it see. Kailan ko? Let it be. Submarine. Kantang Submarine. <laughs> Ang galing! Woo! 
Para tuloy-tuloy ang masayang pindutan, samahan nyo ako lagi dito sa QMK from Monday to Thursday to learn more and win more diamonds. Every Friday, si Carly Hernandez naman ang makasama nyo for QMK Sports Edition! Nako, the correct answer is... Abby Rose! May lead pa to ba ng title and album cover ng Abbey Road ay nangyari dahil sa katamaran? Correct! The album's Bakit? working title was Everest. At sa Mount Everest, dapat sila magtitake ng photo for the album cover. Kaya lang, none of them was willing to take the long journey. In short, tinatamad sila. So, Paul McCartney suggested... Paul McCartney. Naming it after the street on which EMI Studios was located. That meant they could photograph themselves in the nearest crosswalk, which took about 30 minutes total. Galing mo mag-research, me. Tinatamad sila eh, kaya ginalingan ko na lang. Tamad sila. Natamad sila. Panhatang makabahan na question number 8. Complete the lyrics of the AG song. Ibigay nyo na ang aming blank bonus. Halloween, New Year, Christmas. Nako! Gusto nila yan. Gusto nating lahat yan. At ayan ang ating bonus answer. Kaya please mates, ugaliin natin pumasok ng maaga dito sa QMK para marinig at mapagandaan nyo ang ating team at maambunan kayo ng bonus answer. Reminder, this is the last time you can use your extra life. So, kaunting ingat, quizmates. Kapag kinukulang na kayo ng extra life, pwede kayong maka-earn by sharing our live every Friday. Mag-share ka, wala ka ng live iyan. Kaya nga eh, Friday. Okay. And the correct answer is... Christmas! Merry Christmas! Naging Christmas anthem na ng mga Pinoy yan, maybe. True, according to Aegis, the intention of the song is to give a cheerful Christmas song, especially to our hard-working employees. In one of their interviews, they revealed that none of them has worked for a corporate office, kaya maging sila hindi pa nakaka-receive ng Christmas bonus. Ah, kaya pala. Sana all... Paano at ang mga bahala, question number 9. Ako, ayan na. In what a year, Eraserheads disbonded? 2002, 2022, 1999. Grabe naman, 1999. May ticket na ba lahat sa reunion ng concert ng E-Heads? Malapit na yan, kaya mag-review-review na rin kayo para makasabay kayo sa concert. Yes, Quizmates, wag na rin kayong magpahuli at i-follow nyo na ang pinakabonggang box sa Kumo! Yes, Bongga Box is a physical booth na lumilibot sa iba't ibang lugar. Kaya i-follow nyo na yan at Bongga Box on Kumu para updated kayo kung saang lugar sila magla-landing at mag-unbox ng bonggang surprises. Ito ang yes. mas bongga kapag nasagot nyo. The correct answer is... 2002! 20 years ago na pala yun. Grabe. Yes, year 2002 when Ellie texted his bandmates with a message. It's time to graduate. Oh. And it revealed that they had a very good working relationship, but they were never close friends. That's the reason why they broke up. Pero kinilaro naman niya na it took a while before they broke up and they were able to handle the breakup well compared sa ibang banda. Buti na lang. Oh. Good for them. Yes, yes, good for them. Panatang mga banda, question number 10. Which rock band released the song, Salamat? Why like the dawn eclipse? <laughs> Grabe yung eclipse. Sali na sa masayang kwentuhan ni na Carly and Ward and get a chance to win Kumu Coins every Friday, 7pm sa Kumu Social TV. You can also watch their episodes replay every Thursday at 7pm. Alright! Eto na, kung mapit kayo, yes. ilan nga ba ang nanalo? Baka Ilan marami. nga ba ang tamang sagot sa huli nating tanong ay... The Dawn! Kilala ang The Dawn as a local rock band pero alam nyo ba na ang frontman na si Jet Pangan ay isa ring theater actor? In 2019, he got his theater breakthrough after landing the tutorial role in Sweeney Todd. 
The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, starring alongside Leia Salonga. Kuapit ka sa akin, kuapit ka sa akin, nakasakay tayo sa akin. Dali, dali! Tandararan! Bugsay, bugsay, bugsay! Dapat may sagwan. Ano sagwan. muna yung bugsay? Ano yung bugsay? So, sagwan. Ah, sagwan. sagwan. <laughs> Alright, congratulations, Squeeze Mates! <laughs> Dahil dyan, pag-aatian nyo ang... Sagwan. 5 more than 1,000 ayaw mo! Bugsay, ilonggo. Bugsay, ilonggo. Diretso yan sa inyong Kuma Kanke. Don't change your usernames muna. Kapag umabot ng 50,000 diamonds ang naipon ninyo, pwede nyo nang i-convert yan into cash. Ihan cash daw. Oo, sa mga nalag... <laughs> sa mga nalaglag at natalo. Bawi tayo next time dahil tuloy-tuloy lang ang pindutan dito sa quiz mo ko. At ito pa ang ibang shows na pwede nyo panoorin sa Kumu. Follow at catch on Kumu para makita nyo ang mga rescued cats from Homebound Project. At pwede nyo rin silang ma-adopt kaya make sure na naka, at make sure din na naka-follow kayo sa social TV para wala kayong ma-miss na episode ng Community Things with Ward and Carly every Friday 7 p.m. Ay nanalo si Chichat. Isama niya na rin ang Bongga Box para kasali kayo sa mga bonggang ganap, paandar ng Bongga Box. Ang bongga ni Chichat. Oh, no? si Chichat yun eh. Para sa mga extra vivo sa pag-share ng stream, <laughs> eto na inaabang niya shoutout and fun sign. Mag-shoutout tayo. Ayan, John Milton Kiesa, Ate LB. Chebe of Sunrise Cap, Ates of Ian, May 04, Diane Abby, Marge, Kiko Maching, Danica, Cyril, Jobel, Mikai, Carlo Pasha. Batiin mo sila. Last night ito ni Maylin. Ate Sue, Ate LV, Tita Ana. Ate Sue, Ate LV. Ate Queen, Alien International. Shapes, AJ. Thank you for bringing me here for sponsoring my clothes and everything. The hotel and finances. Thank you, Alien and Canada. Aliens! Sa lahat ng Aliens, maraming salamat, fam. Grabe yung support na binigay nyo kay Milin for this campaign. And sa kanya, everyday, dito sa QMK, hindi nyo siya iniwan. At maraming salamat sa paletsyon at profund nyo rin dito. From Alien Community. From Alien Community. Maraming salamat. Yes. Aliens, thank you so much. Alien Community. Thank you, thank you. Alien International. We love you all. We love you all. Yes. Diba? Yes, Paul. Alright, ito na ang ating fun sign naman. Okay. Ito na. Letter J. J. H. H. O. Y. 1995. Ayan, Joy. Thank you. Joy95, we heart you. Alright. Oh, nakalive pa daw tayo. Nagchichismisa na yung... <laughs> nakalive po, nakalive. Ang kasunod naman natin ay si... A-N-A-L-Y-N-C-O-R-T-E-Z-T-E-Z-2-4. Err-err. 2-4. Ayan, Annalyn Cortez, thank you and we heart you. Alright, thank you fam. Thank you. Maylene, before I personally uh, thank you for joining <laughs> me here, gusto ko rin magpasalamat sa aking Ilin nga at Ilin International sa pagpapadala nyo at pagpapabusog sa amin through your generosity through food. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Amelin, again, thank you so much for joining us here as our fuck girl for the week on Quizmo ako. May mga gusto ka pa bang pasalamatan? Baka may nakalimutan kang uh, shoutout? Wala. Buong Alien International lang. Sila yung gumastos, yes. mag-finance lahat. Salamat. salamat. Titaan ati Queen, the best. Thank you, fam. At makakausap po kayo soon. Isked natin yan, Okay. And that's it for tonight's Fun Pindutan Session. Maraming salamat, quizmates. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm your quizmaster, Ian Rancis. And I'm your fuck girl, Maylin31. Kinakabahan ako dun sa word. <laughs> Tapusin na natin ito, Maylin. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat. Stay healthy. Mag-ingat po sa lahat ng dadalaw sa cementerio, fam. Okay, we'll see you again next week. Dito lang sa... Quiz! Iyan, ikaw akin. Ayoko, naglalaro. Quiz, Bobo! Bobo!